So we've gotten comfortable with technology. Um, I'm Doug Jackson with the Virginia Department of Housing and Community Development. And you've got my phone number. I want you to feel free to call me if you ever have uh, questions on Kiva and what we're doing, feel free to give me a holler and um, we can walk through some of this together as well. Our outcomes today, we're really focused on um, following up on our conversation about the applications. Uh, so hopefully you'll be better prepared to complete an application, uh, to participate in video interviews, and to encourage your network to participate as Kiva lenders. So we're going to go through it um, through what we have on the website to support you. Uh, we'll talk about the content piece. We're going to kind of do this as a campaign. So we'll, we'll create, help you create your write-up, your videos, and your, um, your photography if you need help with that. Uh, and get that online, but we're also going to have more extended versions that we'll have. Um, we'll kind of be celebrating your business uh, in a newsletter uh, and in, um, in a little bit longer, slightly longer form videos that we'll share on social media and that you can share on social media. Um, again, Kiva will be reaching out internationally and we're really going to focus on building our regional community of funders and support for entrepreneurs. And then we're going to look at the Kiva lending side. I'll just review on the Opportunity Southwest Virginia website. If you go to opportunitysouthwestvirginia.org, there's a Kiva spot up at the, in the top navigation, and you can nominate a business, you can apply for a loan or make a loan. And we're focusing today um, first on applying for a loan. And when you land on apply for a loan, it uh, there's the um, There'll be the link to the next uh, webinar um, as soon as we get that. There was the Kiva flyer, the promotional video from Kiva, uh, frequently asked questions document that we're going to review a little bit later. There's the video from last time. Just click right on that and it'll pop up. And then PowerPoint slides from last time. And then here's the ready to apply. If you hit that link or if you share that with someone um, as we later on as we start to really grow this, um, that if someone applies, that will link to Opportunity Southwest Virginia as a trustee. All right. And as I, as I change back to my PowerPoint, I'm going to check in with you and make sure that we've... Um, can you see the Opportunity Southwest Virginia logo now? Yes. Okay, thank yeah, you. Yeah, all good. Okay, great. All right. So um, first, on developing the content, as I mentioned, we're going to uh, be shooting a video. Um, we'll be at doing video interviews. Um, if you're interested in doing the interview, it doesn't have to be a video interview. Um, I would like to make an appointment to visit with everyone who applies, um, where we sit down and talk about your business and Southwest Virginia and what your goals are with the business. That's gonna help us help you write your story, um, give you some, you know, kind of coach you a little bit on that. And we'll also do the, some development of content. So we'll write articles, um, we'll produce the, video, the, the videos for you. And I say produce, they're, they're, they're pretty informal. Um, we're, we're doing them in-house with an iPod. It'll, it'll look good enough for this, I think. I think it'll look, look plenty good for Kiva. And um, our goal is to make you look good at least. And, and we're learning as we do it. So I wanted to review some tips for, for that video. If we do do a video with you, just make a, we just want to have fun, um, be natural. When we set up the camera, um, I would stand there and ask you questions. Uh, look at the look at me, not the camera. Um, and we can kind of almost forget the camera's there. Uh, and because I'll go back and I'll edit it. If you say something that in a, in a certain way and you want to change it, you just say it again. Um, I'll do I'll stop and start, and we'll do it in little clips. And then I'll piece together those clips and we'll do it to, to tell the story of your business and what your business goals are with Kiva. That's the primary thing uh, with Kiva. Um, we'll do the very short video that we'll post on Kiva. And it's the same thing with your written description. You want to say what you need money for, how it's going to grow your business, um, and, and, and give a little sense of you, your personality and your business. And we, and we do it pretty quickly. Um, if I ask you a question, if you're, if we're doing a video, these are good practices for anytime you're interviewed by media about your business, uh, build the question into your answer. It gives you a little bit of time to think, and it also gives the person who's, um, doing the story a really good clip. 
So if I was to, to ask, well, what are you gonna use your loan for? You can just start it by saying, I'm going to use my Kiva loan to, and then that's gonna give them a really good clip. And then we're gonna, we're, can't, our campaign is, this is, this is my Southwest Virginia opportunity. So at the end of each one, I'm gonna ask you to say, this is, uh, I'm Bob Smith, or I'm Bob, and this is my Southwest Virginia opportunity, or I'm Bob Smith of Bob's Outdoor Adventures, and this is my Southwest Virginia opportunity. Uh, so we're gonna try that this, this first go round and see how that, how that campaign uh, flies. There. Um, and then here are the questions I'm gonna ask. Um, I might ask some impromptu questions and we can rehearse them once or twice since I'm not getting you any heads up on it. But if, I, if we do a video, an interview, I'll ask you to give me the, your, kind of your name, the name of your business, where you're located, what services you provide. And then I'll ask, um, what inspired you to start your business? What, what prepared you for the work? How is Southwest Virginia a good place for you and your business? How is your community a good fit for the business? How do you hope your business will make the community a better place? What's been your proudest moment with the business so far? What are your goals with your business? How will you use the Kiva loan? How will the Kiva loan help you grow your business? What's the next milestone for your business? And then is there anything else you wanna tell me? And then, uh, oh, sorry, I've got a publicity release form that I'll use for you. And this, this gives uh, my Southwest Virginia opportunity, the, op uh, the, the permission to share, share the video. I'm, if I do a video or write an article, I'm gonna run it by you first and kind of get your approval. Uh, again, we're, we're doing this to support you. We're not trying to do anything that's um, you know, kind of without your permission. Uh, and we want it, and there's, we run it by you and we can make some changes to it and then we'll go smooth and when we go smooth, we'll send it out. And since my Southwest Virginia opportunity is a collaborative of a lot of groups and organizations, individuals working to support businesses in the region, um, that we're, you know, once we put it on social media, the idea is to get people to share. So we're asking for permission for them to share it as well. So um, if we decide at the Virginia Department of Housing and Community Development that we think uh, this Kiva strategy at a regional scale uh, works in Southwest Virginia, we'll probably try and share this model with other parts of Virginia. So that would mean uh, sharing your story as the entrepreneur um, with other parts of Virginia. So again, uh, with Kiva, it's the, the loan. Um, we have to raise the money from uh, individuals in our community, individuals in the region, individuals around the world. And so there are um, 1.6 million lenders um, on the Kiva platform. And uh, we're gonna turn our attention a little bit to now to the Kiva lenders. And before I do that, let me check in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop my share. You can kind of see my face <laughs> somewhere in there, I think. And um, ask if there are any questions here. I see, thank you. Um, I finally looked over at the chat and I see that Sandy uh, an hour ago told me I wasn't, you weren't seeing my screen. I'll try and track that more closely now. But if you have, I'm checking in to see if you had any questions. I couldn't, I couldn't see that when I'm sharing my screen. It just shows me, or maybe it's because I went on the full um, PowerPoint, full screen. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'll push forward now, and I'll, I will go back to sharing my screen. Let's see, share screen. Okay, and then I'll go back to our. PowerPoint presentation and make it real big for you so you can see it. Okay, so as we go to the private, or as we go to the individual lenders, again, the fundraising process includes up to 15 days for private fundraising. That's where uh, you'll have a, a dedicated link on uh, Kiva that you'll be able to share. You can share it electronically. You can share it with social media. 
we won't push out your, in your private period, we won't push out your information on social media. We ask that you do that and you work with your local partners like the Chamber of Commerce or your, um, your neighbors, uh, the local economic development um, your representative, uh, very locally in your community. Um, we ask that you first start that way. And then when we come to public fundraising, we'll go whole hog and, and push it out in social, in social media through Friends of Southwest Virginia and through My Southwest Virginia Opportunity and, and everybody will probably on, will be pushing this out and kind of celebrating you. Uh, that, and so that public fundraising, you have up to 30 days to do it. Now, if you're not fully, if you don't get fully funded in those 30 days, um, it's kind of like GoFundMe where you won't get the loan. Um, so we want to make sure that we're uh, encouraging you, if you apply for a loan, uh, that it's the right size loan for your needs. And it, so you don't want to ask for too much um, that, that's going to be harder to raise. That $10,000 is harder to raise um, than, than $5,000. I think $10,000 is probably harder to raise than um, you know, $9,400. <laughs> Personally, because when I see a number like nine thousand four hundred dollars or, or, or four thousand dollars, I, for some reason, I kind of internally think, oh yeah, well that person knows exactly how much they need. Um, they're not trying to raise more. Um, they thought that they, they thought through, through it. Um, so there's something psychological about that too, I think. Um, but once you get fully funded, it'll take two or three days for you to get get your 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 money and again they do the money and the transfers through paypal so you have to be on on paypal um so our first when the private period your target you're doing you you're, they're going to give you a number that you have to reach so she had 13 funders and so um there she's got nine out of 13 and then it goes to a percentage of the dollar figure okay that was by way of review uh, i did want to follow up on some of the uh, question and answer uh, information on the, on the application. We were asked about bankruptcy. If you uh, have gone through a bankruptcy, uh, and it was ten, over 10 years ago, it does not affect your loan application. If it's less than 10 years since a bankruptcy, it can affect your loan application. Uh, and it, it might be that you're eligible for a little bit less, uh, depending on how, how far back it was they'll do some underwriting of the loan. And, um, and so there's no guarantee if you say, oh, I want to apply for $10,000. There's no guarantee that you'll get the, you'll be approved to apply for $10,000 or to get a loan for $10,000. Um, that I talked to her, uh, Monica yesterday with Kiva and she said that um, she was working in another region or another community and, um, and that expectation wasn't as clear. So we wanna make sure it's really clear that um, if you, even though you might want $5,000, uh, once they go through and do the underwriting, they may only approve, approve you to apply on, to the Kiva network for $4,000. And then on privacy, anything um, that you're putting on Kiva is, is that it's kind of like you're working with a you know, loan officer um, you can expect that to be held within their network and or within Kiva. Uh, if it's financial information, they'll hold on to that. Um, they'll use it to, uh, to approve you on, on the network. Um, but then any information that you want public uh, to tell your story, that's what folks will see. Um, so you get to decide what you, what you tell. In fact, if you look at it, um, a lot of the, they'll talk about their business name, but often you don't even know the last, First, the last name of the person who's on there. So when they, when you first look at it too, unless you put it in your description, it won't say your last name. It'll say, it'll say Stephen or, or Gene or Doug. Okay, let me go back now. I want to talk about these loans, and um, we're going to go to or the lender side of things. And um, let's see, I need to go to back to the World Wide Web. And then I'm gonna stop my share real fast. Don't see any questions, okay. Now I'll share my screen again. Okay, so um, I'm gonna go hop over now and we'll go to Kiva's, Kiva's website. And um, 
I have an account on, on Kiva as, and I'm going to go to my, um, you can see here it says my borrower dashboard because I was, I was experimenting as a borrower to see how it worked. Uh, so they gave me a borrower dashboard. I've got a trustee dashboard for Opportunity Southwest Virginia. Um, but it, sorry, my hit my, let me use my mouse. It'll be a little better. I wonder, sorry, I've got to sign back in again. Oops. Okay. Um, okay. Okay, so now I'm, I'm on the lending page. Um, I want to focus on, on me right now as a, as a lender uh, so that you understand the lender experience so you can communicate to, to folks in, uh, in your network when you get to the private uh, loan period. Uh, so here's my portfolio as a lender. And it shows first off that um, I have 3750 in outstanding loans that I've made that are being that are in the process of being paid back. Over my total time in Kiva, I've loaned $75 to, to businesses. Um, I'm a member of Team Virginia and I'm a member of uh, Southwest Virginia, uh, Team Southwest Virginia. And this is where I said in the last webinar that people can create teams and, and join teams. And um, I'm going to scroll down now and sit and show that I've made three loans. Everybody's been in one country. There's not a whole lot of diversity in, in what I've learned so far, because I've just I've done this kind of as an experiment to, to see how it works. I paid, I made a loan to Bruce and uh, the eastern on the eastern side of the state, and he 100 percent repaid his his loan. You can um, and then when I got that money back. So the $25 came back in my account. I made a loan to Blaze. Um, so Bruce was, Bruce was, let's click on his. Even though this was a few years ago, it shows he get his, his account stays up there for a while. It shows that he, he repaid it. He's with Southside Mortgage Corporation in South Hill, Virginia. He was powered by 168 lenders. We can click on that and say and see exactly who loaned to them. So, um, Largo, Florida, Iowa, San Francisco, San Marino. That's in the, outside of LA. Um, and then some people on their accounts they don't say where where they're from. Um, but you can see country information. Um, oh, that's just about, that's only about his about the United States. Okay. Uh, his, his website is linked there. His description is all still there. And it talks about his trustee. His trustee was United Virginia. Um, so I could also go to the trustee then and see everybody that the trustee has, has funded. Okay, let me go back from Bruce. And then when I got the money back, this, this all uh, um, this fellow was interesting. He was doing, um, he's a potter and he was making urns that, um, he, he'd interviewed the, his, you know, potential clients and talked to him about the, their departed and create urns that were personalized, um, for the people who had passed away. So he was kind of, I think my dad just passed away. So I thought he was really interesting. So I paid, I made a loan for that. I guess that must've been maybe a year and a half, two years ago. Must have been a year and a half ago. So he's 50% 50, 50 repaid. And then last night, um, I had like 1250 in my account. I said, well, let me add to the 1250. The minimum loan you can make is $25. So I put um, the 20, I took my $25 and I was looking to see who was in Virginia. I didn't see anybody in Virginia. So I did some other, I threw another word or two and I, I think I put Appalachia in or um, I might've even gone directly to Kentucky. And this is John and Chris and they are not, I put this, you see why I put money into them. 
they were 99, somebody this morning has, has made a big loan to them or a hundred, couple hundred dollar loan to them, it looks like. They're 99% funded. They've got three days left. They have a butcher shop, trackside butcher shop. And uh, they are a loan of $10,000. Uh, will help them make improvements to their handling facility and harvesting equipment that will increase the volume of animals processed by 30% over three years. So, and then there's a, there's a video. Um, I think it would let me, let me, let me um, I can see Eva, so I, I'm gonna ask Eva to give me a thumbs up if she hears sound on this video when I click. Okay. Yeah. This is John, I'm Chris, we're the owners of Track South Butcher Shop. We currently process beef, hog, goat, and lamb for producers who either take the meat home, put it in their own freezer, or they might sell it to uh, co-workers, family members, uh, they might even sell to uh, individuals at farmers markets and occasionally restaurants and grocery stores. Uh, we want to continue that side of the business. That's where we started at, where we knew the, the demand for, for uh, trackside was. But we also want to expand to meet the need of local foods and the demand of local foods for those who don't have a connection to a, a local farmer. We have the space here at Trackside to expand, but in order to meet the need for local foods and the demand for local foods, we're going to have to upgrade our equipment. We, uh, we realize that improved holding and harvesting equipment, as well as processing and packaging equipment, would lead to us to the point to where we could grow 30% over the next three years. So that's a really simple video. You get a little sen sense of them. Um, their picture is posted up there. Um, I'm not sure who the other who the other person was. Um, and it, I, I bet I think the picture could be, but that's probably in a, like a ribbon cutting or or such. I think the picture could probably be a little more um, more. You know, I I like to be kind of in the butcher shop with them in the picture. Uh, but I think that the, the the video is simple. It it tells what they're going to do with it. Um, we're going to hopefully package it maybe a, a little bit better, get better sound in there uh, for you. But uh, it, the video, again, is optional. You don't have to have the video. Um, they, they think the video helps, but you, they say you really have to have a picture, that people really go by the picture. So we want to get a good smiling picture of you. Um, and I thought this was in the trustee is the Berry Center, and it's over in Henry, Henry County. Um, and um, the, the one thing that I thought, I didn't realize that we even did this, I don't think until, I, until last night, it says, why are you endorsing John and Chris? And so Opportunity Southwest Virginia here gets to really brag on you some and say why you're important to the region, um, how we see your business as part of the larger regional and community strategy. So I think that's really valuable. Um, and they're right up. It's not, it's not overly short. I went through and, and, and read it. Um, it could maybe be a little bit shorter, but I think it's, I think it's true. It got my $25. So it, it must have, it must have worked. Um, and so Kiva staff even over here made a comment. It will help the entrepreneurs improve the facility and grow their business as well as assist more customers. So they make a comment. The trustee makes a comment. The, the business owners tell their story. Theirs is a longer term. So somehow I, I just noticed that I, I'd only seen up to 36 months before, but they're asking for $10,000 and they have a longer term. And I imagine um, it said they got other funding. They might have a USDA loan or maybe they've got, maybe they've kind of, they're kind of packaging all this together. So it's on the same time period. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop my share, see if there are any questions. Okay, I'll keep going. And, okay. So um, let me see what else I can show you on the, let's go to my teams. Sandy and I, I think Sandy and I are the two founding members of um, team Southwest Virginia, but uh, this is my team page. So any team that I join, 
if somebody if somebody makes a loan, uh, it'll show up on here. So the idea is if if we have a team on Southwest who's funding in Southwest Virginia, and if I'm part of Team Virginia and I fund a Virginia business, that folks um, maybe across the state will see that I'm funding you and get interested in it. Um, or, or they might say, oh, I want to track, I really like Southwest Virginia, I want to track Southwest Virginia and, and see who's being funded there. So, and I didn't, and so since I was already a member, it shows last night that John and Chris got a, a, a loan from me. Um, you know what, and that's great, it's over in Kentucky, maybe Kentucky will see that Southwest Virginia is funding Kentucky and want to fund over in Southwest Virginia. Uh, so this is, you know, our region's larger than just within Virginia. Okay, it shows here that we have two members, that there's been one loan made. It just, it just takes a second for it to come up. So, so Sandy and I are, are on here. Um, as we start to make loans, there'll be data. It'll show the impact that we have, how much money that we raised as a team or invested as a team in businesses in Southwest Virginia. Um, similarly, we'll have Opportunity Southwest Virginia as a trustee will have impact figures. And it'll show how many entrepreneurs have uh, we've been trustee of and how many, how many loans we've made. So we really do want to um, kind of measure this, measure this impact over time. Okay, I'm going to come back to they also, there's a place you can, you can donate to Kiva as well. Again, Kiva doesn't charge the entrepreneur fees. It doesn't charge um, uh, interest rate. And so we're, you know, I, I feel like we're using Kiva, but we're, we're doing this in a way, if we organize regionally, you know, instead of having to create our own platform to do this, uh, we can use their platform and make it really work, work for us. Um, and additionally, we can participate in that larger uh, international platform as well. So we should, we, we'll probably, maybe we'll even have people join the Southwest Virginia funding team who are nowhere near Southwest Virginia. Uh, we'll see. And I'm happy that, that you all are interested in being part of this on the ground floor and kind of experimenting with us. All right. Let me go back to my PowerPoint. And Okay, um, I do want to, let's see, show you, I think this will go right to it. Yeah. Um, on, our, on the website, I mentioned that we had the frequently asked questions. So we've started to build this now. Uh, and the questions, how do I apply? What's a trustee on Kiva and do I need one? What's the cost to participate? Is this like GoFundMe? Um, again, you'll get asked that, a, 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 I think, a lot. People are familiar with that. Kiva has a lot more credibility, I think, than GoFundMe because there's an underwriting process. This is a loan, not a grant. Um, and so I think, I think we'll be able to, to um, different, differentiate that. But it is like GoFundMe in that it's crowdfunded. So we're, we're tapping. Ideally, we can tap wealth that we know is already in the region, um, individual wealth, um, and uh, aggregate that for impact. Why would people loan money to me when they may not even know me? Uh, uh, don't underestimate the power of your story and the power of our place as a region as a story. Uh, I think people, I feel good about when I, when I fund a business, I, I feel good about it. I, it's fun. I like to track it. I feel a part of their business and a part of their success. Um, hey, Doug, check your uh, chat thing. Oh, yeah. Doo -doo -doo -doo. If I can get to it. I don't know why I want. It won't show up while I'm sharing, so let me stop the share. Okay. For the repayment process, do our local businesses get promoted on a monthly basis to repay? Oh, prompted. Okay, yeah. And is that also done through PayPal? Yeah, that's a great question. Uh, the businesses are, it's kind of set up on an auto pay. Um, and so every, uh, they don't even have to think about it as long as they keep money in their PayPal account. 
And yes, everything's done through PayPal. So that, uh, that first, as soon as they get fully funded, that um, the amount of money they're funded for will go into their PayPal two or three days after it's funded. And then 30 days after that, the first payment will come from, from PayPal in. And, um, and there's, I saw on their website, it shows you exactly how to set up that uh, automatic payment through PayPal. But thank you for that question. And thank you, Stephen, for, for pointing it out. All right. And I will go back to, Okay, so now um, I'm back in that PDF file that is on the Opportunity Southwest Virginia website. Um, how much am I eligible for? And so that is a, that's a much more complex question and we've talked about that a little bit. The key is to choose the right size loan. Um, you know, we never encourage debt for debt's sake for a business. We want uh, you to only take, even though it's zero interest loan, we want you to only take on as much debt as you need to confidently grow and expand or start your business. Um, so uh, just because it says the maximum is $10,000, Monica yesterday said that $10,000 is a, it's a much, it's, it's an unusual size loan as a matter of fact. So, um, it, and, and that, you know, that's, it, they recommend starting with a smaller, smaller loan um, if, it, if that's how much you need. Um, unless you have that good long track record and a good strong, um, good strong web presence. Um, okay, uh, what happens if I don't fully get funded? Yeah, if you don't fully get funded, um, that it was probably too large a size, too large of a loan. Um, if you make it through the private funding period, which I'm pretty confident that everybody in in our you know, I, I think everybody can make it through there, especially as we encourage the, the local networks, um, your local networks. Um, if, uh, what was I about to say? Oh, 90% of the folks who get through the private funding get their loan fully funded. That's a really high percentage. Um, so if you make it through the private period and you're out there in the public, 90% of those people get their loan funded. So, it's, so that, that's pretty high. Um, and then I've talked about the other two question and answers in our follow-up part. And I think I've hit, hit all that. We will keep adding to this document. And again, this document is on our website uh, right here, uh, frequently asked questions. And so, so now you can go back there and periodically and, and get updated. And then I'm going to darn if I'm not just figuring this thing out. Okay, now I've got, gone to the PowerPoint, and I'll ask. Now um, I'm going to go off of the share in just a second, so I can look back at the chat, and you might have a question coming in or a question or two coming in. So let me know if you have questions now. I'm looking at my list to see what everything I wanted to talk about and I think I've and I think I've hit them all. And um, I will be I, like I said we've got I think three people who got their application started in, in online. Um, I'm going to start working with you on those individually and I'll make appointments to come and do, um, do your video with you if you're interested in the video. So think, think, think a little bit of like what you'd want to have in the background or how you'd want to position your video. And um, in the meantime, it's kind of fun. Flip through Kiva and look at some of those, look, look for some of the videos and, and see how entrepreneurs are telling their story. Uh, and, and you might do some searches too. If you have a business that is um, making, if you're a potter, look on, search for through pottery or potters and see if you can find somebody who's another uh, person who's doing some some craft and see how they're doing it and uh, we can we can learn and so it is not too early to apply go ahead and and um, put your um, start your application in there so we will work between now and uh, the very beginning of April we'll get your application tightened up 
I'll be, I can be on the road next week coming down to, to visit and get video um, if it works for you. It could be that you, you say, you know, um, and I'm looking at Eva, you've got an outdoor business. You, we might want to wait until the trees yeah. are, are, are more in leaf. Um, so yeah. there's, no, there's no rush on the video. Again, that's optional. But we do want to get a picture of you and your, um, and your statements up by the first week of April. And then that's going to give them plenty of time to review it. I talked to her yesterday. She's very comfortable with how much time we've put, um, we, we, we um, kind of how we've timed this out. They worked with another community and they didn't have that much time and she felt like they could have had a much stronger um, event or kind of kickoff if they had had, had a little more time. So uh, I will be, we'll, we'll be in touch one on one. Um, additionally, we have another webinar on the 27th at, um, at noon, at noon on the 27th. And um, that will really be technical assistance. So don't feel like you have to come on, on, but do come on if you want to hear other questions. It might be that we don't have a whole lot of other questions. Um, what I'll do, what I will do, if there's any presentation, it'll be what I've learned in the last, in, in the last little bit. Um, I have done one kind of one one video shoot, and um, and and Stephen was Stephen had his um, Stephen Harris was the first one to to get his application in, and I was down there and able to arrange to do the video, and so I'll be editing that, and I'll share it with Stephen, and, we'll, and if Stephen gets comfortable with it at some point, we'll um, maybe we'll show it to you and show you what that's what that's looking like. Uh, a lot of ifs in there. Okay, and any other questions? I have one, one second. Sure, or you can go ahead and say it. I can hear you now and we're not, and we're not getting feedback. Can you hear me? Yep. Okay, um, what, is there a limit? Like I'm thinking um, of using Kiva for a smaller loan. Um, I, I've got 27 kayaks on order and I was just gonna place them on a credit card, you know, and, and do it that way. But if I could use the uh, Kiva loan, I could do that and save myself some interest if I, um, so I was thinking about doing that, but what if I did that and then later, um, you know, I, I wanted to do something else. Is there a limit to how many Kiva loans I can um, receive over a period of time? That's a good question. I believe you have to have one paid off before you can do a second. Yes, yes. Yeah. but you could, if you pay one off, you could get another? Yeah, yep. In fact, they, um, it used to be that they wouldn't, they had, they made you do the, the on the first loan, it used to be that the max was $5,000. So they want mm -hmm. you to do a smaller one and then do a larger one. So mm -hmm. they, they encourage multiple loans. Um, and especially if it's for something very specific with your, with your business. Mm -hmm. um, and then she mentioned credit card. I did talk to her yesterday about, about this as well. And if you have, there's even a little bit of leeway. If you have, say you had already purchased your, um, your kayaks. Mm -hmm. Um, or you've already you've already made the maybe you've already made the order, um, but you haven't right. paid, you haven't paid for it yet. Or that so, we've made the order. Yeah, so you could they could come in and if you're um, they have a restriction against using Kiva to pay a credit card bill. Mm -hmm. They say you know they don't want people um, using it to to pay off existing debt. However, um, the way you word it's very important. It might be mm -hmm. that. That that was what you had to do to place the order, um, and that the Kiva loan you're really using that Kiva loan to pay for those kayaks. Um, well, that's really what I would be doing. Uh, I just I, I wanted to get the feel for how Kiva worked because I think I mentioned to you, you know there's something else that we might do um, purchase some additional land and we have to have the owner of that land agree to sell it to us. So I'd like to participate in Kiva, uh, learn how it works, get more comfortable with it, and then when that time comes. Um, you know, that would be the real reason I would want it, to be honest. But the kayaks, I mean, it would help us. Um, you know, I don't have to put them on a credit card. I can pay for them myself and just, but I could use that money somewhere else, you know, so. Yeah, I think that's a really smart, smart way to do it. All right. Okay. Thank well, you. Well, yeah, thank you very much, everybody. And I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Thanks, Thanks Andy. Bye-bye.